All right, guys, we've got another collaboration between Law Lock Tools and Steve Muller, otherwise known as Tiffany in New Zealand. He's a custom pick maker, and believe me, his hands are all over the designs of this. We do have some standard picks, but we've also got some kind of unusual stuff, uh, again, based on custom designs by Tiffany. And I've got these segregated, so I'm, I get it right, because I know a lot of you guys have a Valerian kit already. You might want to supplement your kit with some of these thinner picks. These are in 19 thousandths. They call this the Valerian Euro set or the Mark II updated. Like I said, it's 19 thousandths of an inch made from 301 high yield stainless steel. Pretty tough stuff. And that is a uh, 0.5 millimeter in thickness. All right, let's take a look at these. I've got these segregated. These first four, I think we all know pretty well. And by the way, these are arranged very neatly. And that's probably the last time you're going to see that. All right, these first four are picks that we're well aware of. The first one on the very top there is the offset hybrid being seen in more and more kits. Real popular, doesn't have a lot of rise for those deep set, you know, high-low, high-lows, but if you want to use a, it's nice and rounded, so if you want to use a, a uh, hook for raking, it's very easy to do that, and also on master locks. That's right, I use mine for a lot. These next three, uh, again, they have kind of unusual names if you want to order them direct. I see these as a standard short hook, medium hook, and deep hook. Deep hook being in the middle there. And then uh, on the website for Law Lock Tools, they call this the small hook, medium hook, and then the large hook. So I think you could probably figure it out, but I wanted you to give you their names for these guys. Uh, by the way, the kit sells for uh, 50 pounds, which is $63. That's U.S. Uh, there is a 10% discount. He's going to provide me with a code for Lock Lab. Uh, viewers, I put it. I'll put it down there in the description if you're interested. All right, these next four, and again, I've I've done my best to identify these. These are Tiffany special custom picks. So, going along with that, they have special names. The very top one there is called the Scimitar. A little bit thinner on the end. Nice little hook on it to help you get up in those tight spaces for those medium cut. If you want something a little deeper, you go with that next one. That is Tiffany Teardrop. The third one is called the Bijou. And it's very similar to this next one, although the shaft on the Bijou is a little bit thinner than on this one. And that one is called the Tiffany Lockout Buster. All very, very handy. I really like these last two. And I'm going to play with those a little later. We'll see how well these 19,000s work on a lock. Uh, that's too tight for a 25, but perfect for a 19. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I think you guys have probably seen these guys before as well. Here we have a Reach Diamond. I think of that more of a DeForest Half Diamond. And next one, I think, would be kind of a deforest half ball, but they call that the uh, the Reach Diamond and the Reach Ball. Next one is the Hybrid Curve. Really popular with guys that pick Medicos. Unless you get in there and manipulate those pins, rotate them to the right angle before you pick them to the correct height. And now we're kind of back on familiar ground, at least temporarily, with these three guys. We have a City Rake, or L Rake. And then, thank goodness, a name I don't have to look up. I don't have to look at my notes for this one. It's a Bogota or... Triple, honk, triple peak, and then we have a snake rake, or S-rake. And now we're back to the weird stuff. Um, you guys have seen these, well, one of these before, I think. If you take a look at that one, it looks like Nessie, Loch Ness Monster. Little nose and humps. You've seen me play with that before when that was first introduced. And then we have the one on top. I don't know for sure this is a Tiffany design, but it certainly looks like it. It's very much like the Nessie, but it's got a little bit more curve on the bottom here. And they call this one, if I get this right, the Hog Snout. Now, these are kind of hybrid picks because you can use one side to rake, and then you can flip it over, and you can use a fairly nice hook to help you finish off the lock with single pin picking. So these are pretty popular with lock sport competitors. Really cool picks. In terms of uh, tensioners, we have a total of four different top of the keyway tensioners. You guys have seen these before. They're, they're serrated. They look like they're laser cut, very nicely done. Starting out at 0 0.8 millimeter. And let's see, I think that would be about 30 thousandths of an inch. And going all the way up to this huge thing. They call this the Hooligan bar, two millimeter, 78 thousandths. Hooligan bar is kind of like that Halligan bar, which is a fire department tool they used to like break down front doors. And I think you could probably do it with that guy. Really, really thick. So if you like that super heavy tension, that is a tool of choice. And then these, you know, just on a quick glance, you might dismiss these as normal bottom of the keyway tensioners. And they are bottom of the keyway, but I want to show these because these really are nice. Instead of using different thicknesses for the material, 
Law lock tools use the same thickness for all of them, but then put these really nice tapers. So we have a thick one there, a medium, and then a really thin one. So no matter how wide your keyway is, one of these three will fit. You're not locked into just three widths. Using that taper, they'll fit in pretty much any keyway. So very, very flexible, very nicely done. All of these have been tumbled according to the website for a minimum of six hours, and I believe it. And using this, I didn't find, I didn't have to refinish anything. I didn't find a single sharp edge on anything. Nothing cut, very nicely done. I'll just grab one guy real quick. Show you what the edge looks like. Tumbling these guys for six hours does a really good job. You know, like all, all commercially produced picks, these could probably stand with a little bit of rounding off with sandpaper, but I really don't think you need to. I think these are ready to go out, uh, out of the box. I've been using them for about two weeks, uh, so any scratches or blemishes is entirely my fault, not, not the factories. I've been playing them in different uh, thick uh, widths of keyways, paracentric keyways. In fact, let me go ahead and grab a lock and uh, that's appropriate for 19 thousandths and maybe not for thicker picks and I'll show you how well these guys work. All right guys, this whole thing here has been around a very, very long time. This was sent in by David from uh, uh, Kingston, Missouri. Uh, this was rattling around in the back of a fire truck for a long time. Apparently they lost the keys. David grabbed it, salvaged it, and he used it actually for a paperweight for like 20 years. Finally, he watched a couple of lock picking videos, decided to get into it, and he turned this guy into a training lock. He wasn't able to pick it, so he gave up, cut the bottom off as you can see, and pulled everything out and everything was rotted. This thing had been wet at one time. The springs were all rotted. Everything was corroded on the inside, but he pulled it all out, cleaned it up, put in a new core, and repinned it to the original specs. And he turned this into a very nice little training lock. So we got a couple of hex heads there. He gave me a little screw to remove that with, along with a whole bunch of keys. So if I want to bid it up, I mean, you know, key it up to different keys. He gave me the key pins for a whole variety of these guys. Anyway, he says that this is pinned up to uh, original specs. So it is not a chain, a, uh, a challenge lock. So let's see if we can get this guy picked. I'm not going to use the Halligan bar because I don't want to, you know, like twist everything open. Let's try this guy. So this would be the thicker. This is a 1.2 millimeter version. And I'll use the offset because of these bolts, heads that stick up there. So we'll slide them in like that. And let me grab what I think is a really cool pick. That would be this guy. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna apply light tension because, oh, why did I choose this lock? Well, these are 19,000 picks and it fits perfectly into this keyway. If I try to put a 25 thousandths in there, with that warding, it drags on the side. So it's really difficult to get a 25 because you don't get a lot of feedback. But a 19 slides right past that warding. And, oops. And let's see what we got. All right, light tension. Let's see if I can find a binder. There's pin six. I got a little click off of him. So I know I have one serrated, so. And I would expect that off of uh, an American. There, pin one is binding. I heard a crunch. Got a little crunch on him. Okay, I'll take it. Let's keep looking. Nothing. I mean, double check that. All right, nothing. So I'm going to come back to pin one and give him another little crunch. Okay, I got another click off of him again. Start in the back and move forward. See if I can find a... I do not have a fault set yet. Okay, pin three is now binding. And this pick is not binding, it's, it's not grabbing in the keyway at all. Getting pretty good feedback from it. Um, it is handleless, so I would expect that. And oh, got a nice deep fault set. So I probably hit one of those infamous American spools or serrated spools. And there he is. There's pin four, I'm getting counter rotation. Come on. Okay, got a nice click, but I've lost that fault set. Let's keep looking. Well, I know you gotta be here somewhere. Are you open? Yes, it was open. I wasn't putting enough tension on the core. There you go. 
I think it's pretty obvious I didn't practice that. <laughs> there you go, the Valerian Mark II, the uh, Valerian Euro Kit. 50 pounds or $63 minus the 10% discount since you're a Lock Lab viewer. Uh, the giveaway this week, obviously will be, now it's all messed up, but everything that I've reviewed to include this very cool training lock that's, you know, like an antique. You get that guy along with all the repainting kits and to make it really interesting, LearnLockPicking.com did donate some of the six pin ultimate challenge locks. This one's still sealed, but I will I'll open it up and take a look here. For those of you who haven't had a training lock or if you're looking for a training lock, these guys are just super. Uh, to progressively pin, this one obviously is all empty, a six, six uh, pin lock. Fairly wide open keyway. It would be appropriate for this lockpick kit. Uh, you pin it up progressively as you get better. You populate more and more of the chambers. Here's all the pins to include a whole bunch of security pins, repair parts, extra plugs, extra springs, everything that you might lose as it falls underneath your workbench, as well as a couple keys with the plugs and the pins that go to these particular keys if that's what you want to do. That will be the giveaway this week. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. All you need to do is navigate to locklab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the weekend review giveaway, Purple Band. Just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom, put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you, let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click Submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys.